Hi everybody, it's me, G1 Writer with G1 Insights, and today is Prosperity Monday, okay, or Monday Prosperity, however you guys like to use it, okay? So this is going to be a really, really quick video, but it's going to be very fundamental for you, okay? Um, this message is pretty simple and straight to the point, so let's get into it, okay? I don't want to waste too much of your time. Um, I wanted to just simply talk about prosperity all together right what prosperity even means why it's important to understand what prosperity mean okay prosperity is in some forms wealth obviously right like we know that is wealth but it's a it's wealth that really feels like a blessing you know like is when you're thinking of prosperity, it's like an abundance of money, like, or an abundance of some type of financial gift that is given to you or that was received or well-deserving of. Prosperity is, again, I like to use it in the form of something that is like a, a wealthy blessing is what I like to use it as, right? Um, so we looking at your wealthy blessing and when you're seeking prosperity a lot of times we say that we want money um and the, the biggest problem that i have with people in general when it comes to manifesting really anything in their life is that we t a lot of times we tend to forget that we have to keep faith you get what i'm saying and it's not just about having faith but you have to be able to work towards whatever it is that you're going for okay so prosperity is the same way when you say that you want prosperity the first step is to stop saying that you want it okay that's rule number one so grab a pen and a piece of paper that is rule number one you have to set your intention and just like with everything in life your intention has to be clear it has to be reasonable something that makes sense that's logical practical okay because money is energy and when your intentions on trying to manifest that money to come to you if your uh intentions or if your energy is not right then the first thing you have to do is clear your mind so in the midst of you trying to manifest money to you you have to get right with your intention okay your belief system your mind your heart everything has to be in complete alignment when you're trying to manifest that money into you and you can't keep saying i want i want i want because all that's doing is telling the universe that you don't have so instead of saying i want i want i want or i need i need i need it's the same thing it's telling the universe you don't have it so what you want to do is change your mindset Money is constantly coming to me. I have so much clientele, right? Like my clientele is increasing everywhere I go. I have, I am open to unlimited resources that are coming to me. Business modules are coming to me. Business prospects are coming to me. Wealth is already here. Right? It's already coming. So we don't have to keep saying, God, please give me some money today. God, please, please bless me with something. I just really need this, this $500 for whatever reason. Right? Like, you don't have to keep doing that. You don't have to keep saying, please, please, please. Right? I'm sure God hears you. <laughs> right? And, you know, I'm not God, but I'm sure he's probably sitting around asking himself, like, how many times is this girl going to ask me for this? Right? Like, it's annoying. It really is. So try not to put yourself in a, a state of mind where you're constantly saying, I want, I want, I want, I need, I need, I need. Don't do that. Clear your intentions. Be precise. Be practical. Because again, money is energy. And if you keep giving out that I don't have energy, then you won't have. <laughs> okay? So clear your energy. Clear your conscience. Be practical. Make sense. Be reasonable. Which brings me to my next step. A lot of people, when they pray and they're asking God for a favor, like, God, I really need some assistance. Please help me. I'm really in a bind. I really need help, right? Or even for those of you that, if you're like me, maybe you like to write spells, right? 
this is the thing that again that I have issues with some people is that um, we all have to understand that even though we do believe that God can give us whatever we want and even though we believe that the universe is unlimited in all of its resources and that any and everything we want is going to come to us no matter what right we still have to make sense like we still have to be reasonable with everything okay so for instance instead of saying you know i want five hundred dollars right you can say five hundred dollars is coming to me by the end of the month right so aside from setting your intention now you are being reasonable and by being reasonable what i mean is don't say anything like, well, I prayed and I didn't get it. God didn't answer me. I, I had faith, right? You are not being reasonable or you just didn't believe that it was going to actually come to you. And that's why it didn't come. It's not because God didn't hear your prayer. It's not because you are full of bad luck or nobody loves you. It has nothing to do with that. It's all about your belief system, okay? Believe it or not. Because we say we believe, we believe, we believe, but deep down inside, what happened? Something is not quite right. Because again, the universe doesn't understand, um, you know, the things that you say. The universe understands your thoughts. And I have to always tell you guys this. The universe understands your thoughts. So be reasonable. Don't say, well, I need $5,000 by Friday. Because, again, you still put into the universe that you don't have. Um, you're not asking for anything reasonable, right? Even though the universe is unlimited, okay, we still have to be respectful and reasonable, okay, and not greedy. I find that a lot of light workers or witches or people that do spells or just people in general that need money, they mess up a lot because they think that by, they think that, they're manifesting by being cocky and demanding that the universe gives them what they want. You can't demand God or spirit or the universe to do anything. Whatever's going to come to you is going to come to you, right? Which is why I'm telling you that you don't have to always feel like you have to pray so hard to get what you want. You don't. Okay, it's all about your belief system, okay? So, number one was setting your intention, clearing out your energy, right? Um, being practical, being, you know, logical in your thinking. Um, being respectful, number two, okay? Being reasonable, being respectful to the universe. Being reasonable, not being cocky, ex being extremely humble. I'm so thankful for all of the money that is coming my way this season. That's how you have to speak. I'm so thankful for, you know, that new job opportunity that I was looking forward to. And say if that job opportunity doesn't happen. Say if you, you were full of faith, right? Like say if you were really hopeful, because I had this happen to me several times where I was like, yes, I know I got this job. I know I'm getting it. I know I qualify. There's no way that I can be turned down for this job. Like I just knew that I was going to get that job, right? And then a situation occurred where you can have all the faith in the world and be hopeful and it, it doesn't happen. So what do you do? Because we are so human, what do we do? We get mad. We like, see, I told you, I had faith. I prayed, I fasted, I did everything that was required of me and God still didn't bless me with that job. So again, if something does not come to you, it's not because you are less deserving of it. It is because something greater is coming to you. And you have to really, really shift your mindset. And that is number three, okay? Understanding that it's okay when things go left out of nowhere. Like, you were so hopeful. You stepped out on faith. You knew God had your back. You just knew it. Like, you just knew nothing could go wrong with this opportunity. You just knew that no matter what happened, the resources were there. You were going to run into the right people at the right time. And then, bam, you got there. And they said, nope, sorry, we want somebody else. So, because you are so human, you will probably cry. You will probably get upset. And most likely, you will feel discouraged. 
But I want to remind you that just because it didn't happen this time doesn't mean that it won't ever happen. And just because you don't get it at this very moment, it doesn't mean that it's not meant to be. I hear a lot of people that say, well, it just wasn't meant to be. That's not true. It just not right now. Not this very second. A lot of times, see, this is what I do love about our creator is that, you know, a lot of times when things doesn't happen our way when we want it to happen, we have to still be thankful even in that moment because guess what? What if you got hired onto that job and, you know, something were to happen to you? So we have to begin to be thankful for even a little hiccups in life, for things that don't really go well. We have to be thankful. Whenever we are feeling like this is so messed up, I really betted on that job, I really wanted that business loan, I really, really wanted that, I really prayed and I fasted, I even gave my tithes and offering at church, I really, you know, try to feed the homeless. I mean, you just been making all kinds of sacrifices and what happens when the opportunity closes in your face, right? You have to still keep your faith and still keep manifesting. That's all right. Oh, that's not the job you wanted me to get because you got something else happening for me. See, your name is already destined. It's already happening. So just because something looks good to the physical eye and you're like, oh my God, I will be perfect. Your creator is saying no. You might be perfect for the job, but the job is not perfect for you, okay? So, I have to get you to a place where the job is perfect for you and you are perfect for the job. And when things don't happen, we have to understand that we have to have faith. When we're asking for something, we have to be mindful of the universe. We have to be respectful. We have to claim it and know that it's going to come. Even if it don't happen on that Thursday when you prayed and you knew that it was going to happen... You have to still know it's in the works. It's happening. And the more that you begin to think that, again, the universe responds to your thoughts. Okay? And the more you believe that, the more it's going to happen. Okay? It's the same thing with money, guys. It's the same thing with money. It's the same thing with money. Sorry, I had to take a really deep breath. Okay? So... Because you're human, you will get discouraged. But in that moment of feeling discouraged, remind yourself, it's still coming. I still have it. It's still mine. It still belongs to me. Okay? Also, 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 also. And I think this is probably going to be my last tip. But also is this. When... A lot of times we, not only do we not have faith or we don't really truly, truly believe, right? But we, we speak against it, okay? We speak against it. Or a lot of times we think that we are less deserving to have something. Like, we like, uh, you know, I did ask for $3,000, but I don't think God is going to give me that $3,000, Right? Even if you don't actually say it, you're probably thinking it. So, change your mindset, okay? Change your mindset. Be respectful and reasonable when it comes to the universe. Don't get cocky. You have to remain humble when you're asking or seeking something from God or the universe or spirit. You know, you have to remain humble. There's no cockiness in manifestation. There's complete humbleness. And you have to work at it. And that's the other problem with a lot of light workers or witches or whoever. Like, you you guys have to work at it, man. Like, it cannot be, um, you know, a situation where um, you you asking for something, you're begging and pleading for something, and you're not working towards it. Oh, I need money, but I'm not working towards it. And I've seen a lot of people say, well, I have worked at it. I go to work every single day, and they still won't give me that promotion. I'm promoting my business every day, and yet I'm still not getting any business loans. You know, I've been applying and applying for different jobs, and I've been trying my best to save up my money. I've been working at it. Here's another fact. You could be working at it the wrong way. 
You could be investing your time in the wrong place with the wrong people at the wrong time. It's a divine timing and everything. Timing is everything. So even though we may feel like, look, I'm working at it, I'm promoting my business, I'm dressing up, I'm going to seminars, right? I'm reaching out, I'm getting to know people, I'm networking, I'm, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do to grow my business, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do to like, you know, bring clientele to me, or I'm doing them. In that moment when you feel like you're doing all that you can, you know, there's a song about that, I believe. Like, after you've done all you can, you just stand. Like, I think it was Donnie McClurkin's song. I love that song. It was very beautiful. He said, after you have done all you can, you just stand. The universe does not... Listen, the universe does not understand the things that you say in response to your thoughts. Okay? And so, in that moment, when you're feeling like you have done everything and you still feel like what is the point what is the point of me working hard what is the point in me being kind and being humble and feeding the homeless and what, what is the point if i'm still not going to be able to attract the type of finances that i need to help me be successful what is the point of writing this business plan if nobody is even going to take the time to even read it what is the point right like we get stuck asking ourselves those questions but we have to remember guess what time in which is my last point, guys. Timing is everything. You can literally be working it and feel like you're doing all you can. And you may very well be. But you may be doing it at the wrong time. For all the wrong reasons. When it comes to prosperity, you have to think about why do I want prosperity? Why is it so important to me in this very moment? God, please show me who to talk to, how to talk to them, where should I go, how far should I go, tell me when to stop, okay, because it, it's not me, it's not my will, it's your will, so you show me where to go, who to talk to, how to talk, how, what should I say, how should my delivery be, God, how would you like me to, to behave today, would you like me to be sweet and laughing or would you like me to just study today you know we have to be very interactive with the universe we have to be because timing is everything and sometimes the best thing you can do when you feel like you have done it all done it all when you feel like you have done everything you just stand you hold your ground you stand still you hold your ground. You believe that it's happening. It's already in the works. It's already mine. That $500 is already mine. That $3,000 is already mine. It's mine. It's here. It's mine. I can do what I want. I know that God is blessing me always. The universe is, you know, filled with unlimited resources and people that are dying to meet me. Like, they just can't wait to meet me, right? Like, you have to begin to get enthusiastic about life in itself and uh, get enthusiastic about the universe and what God is doing for you. Even the things that you don't see with the physical eye, you have to be thankful for it, right? And in the midst of you waiting for that money to come, you begin to manifest by being of service, okay? And this is why I said to reach out and ask the universe, ask spirit, the angels, whatever, right? Reach out. What do you need me to do today? What do you need me to do today? Because I'm trying to get my blessings. I'm trying to manifest some things unto me and I need to be of service. I need to be doing something that shows that you know, that this thing is, I'm not being selfish, that this thing is not just about me, right? It's not, it's not, I'm not being selfish and I'm not going to be greedy and I'm not going to be cocky. I'm not going to be arrogant. I'm going to be humble and I'm going to be of service. So what would you like me to do in this very moment to give back? And so I can make a sacrifice unto you, right? Because the universe is already blessing you. It's already yours. So now you have to begin to be interactive because again, guys, timing is everything. And if you are not going to take out time or you're waiting for that money, you can be doing all that you can, working, manifesting, praying, doing whatever it is that you think you're going to be doing to help you attract that money unto you, being peaceful, going to these meetings and these seminars, networking and all that good stuff. But honey, if it's all for the wrong reasons, if it's only for the sake of your guidance and for your benefit, and it's, if it's only for you and you're not trying to be of service or trying to help someone else be just as successful, it's a no-go. 
So it's not all the time that you're doing something wrong, right? Or that you're not doing enough. It may not just be the right time, right? Or you may not be simply be enough service, okay? You have to begin to interact, be interactive with the universe. And why that means, I mean literally, taking care of your environment, your home, yourself, your family, your loved ones, taking care of your money, how you carry your money, okay? You gotta really have that mindset, guys. So I love you, it's been 20 minutes, I gotta go. I wanna know what you all think, so please drop a message below. Stay tuned for Terra Tuesday, uh, Think It Over Thursdays, Saturday Sensations. And by the way, I do apologize. I didn't do Saturday Sensations this past weekend. I was exhausted, so I did not do it. I needed to rest, okay? So forgive me, but I do love you guys. Comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Share this message around the world because everyone has to know how to keep that prosperity, guys. Okay? I love you. Bye-bye.